A preacher walks up to the pulpit, and we see what he's wearing, or how he makes eye contact. We see if he stands up tall, or we judge him by whether his words make us fall asleep, or leave the building inspired. But much more goes into this than we may realize. Delivering a sermon is a labor of love. It is challenging. It is creative. It is methodical. The art of preaching takes our minds, and our hearts, and our hands. And so while you see a preacher, you also see a student of the Word of God, a researcher, a writer, an explorer, a reader, a diagrammer, an artist, a believer. A sermon doesn't begin when the preacher opens his or her mouth. It doesn't even start on Sunday morning. It doesn't start days, weeks, or even months beforehand. A sermon often begins in the classroom. And in the quiet moments of devotion and training. It begins in the hallways and in the late night conversations. It begins in the heart of preparation for ministry in assignments and learning languages. A sermon starts at seminary. It starts at Gordon Conwell.